Has someone ever told you they can't fucking hear you on Discord? Has someone ever told you you sound like fucking shit? Someone ever told you they keep hearing weird ass sounds that aren't you and it's like, what the fuck? This might be the video for you. I'm going to go through a bunch of random things and just make sure all of them are set correctly or the way that you need them and uh, go from there. So first thing we're going to check that you may or may not have set correctly is the um, crisp. Crisp nowadays is a lot better in Discord. It used to suck ass. It doesn't suck ass anymore. Please use it. So this is how you enable crisp. So once you're in a voice chat, let's join here. You can see down here this little wavy thing right here. Make sure that that's enabled, right? So when you click that, make sure that that's green. If that's not green or if there's a slash here, you're wrong. Uh, by having this enabled, it's going to let the human voice through and anything that resembles a human voice through or, or similar, you know, sounds of a human would make more or less uh, would come through this. But like keyboard and like someone fucking taking a huge shit in the background or whatever traffic, you're not going to hear it. That's going to do a good job blocking it. It's a lot better nowadays. So that's the first thing is have crisp on. Okay, cool. So you have crisp on. What's the next thing you should take a look at? Okay, next thing you should take a look at, let's go straight to the Discord settings first. Because, I mean, we're right here in Discord, so let's not go, you know, keep it simple first. So we're going to go to this cogwheel down here. Okay, cogwheel down here. Cool. Okay, you're going to go to voice and video right here in the middle. And what you're going to do is, first and foremost, you want to make sure that your input volume is all the way up. All the way up, all the way up, 100%. If that ain't 100%, um, unless there's some other special reason why it shouldn't be, you're wrong. 100%, 100%. Uh, this is what you hear over here in output. That could be whatever, but right here, input, 100%. Okay, that's thing number two. Making sure that that's good. Okay, we're good. Um, thing number three is right here where it says input mode and uh, all this stuff right here. Most people... Unlike me right here, and I'll explain this in a second, most people should have it like this. This is fine. Now, if you sit nearby someone else that has a computer or you have other people uh, in a nearby space that are talking, so like once again, it's going to pick up the human voice, this is where I'm going to manually set that threshold where it's going to more or less only hear my voice next to my mic here, and my wife down the way over there, it's not going to pick up her voice that much. I mean, every once in a while, I might... A little bit but it's not gonna like bother anyone nothing like that whereas if I had this enabled it's gonna keep picking her up because it's she's just a little bit too close in the room um, it's gonna hear the human voice so on and so forth so this right here is kind of that like this is gonna be depending on you so depending on you input sensitivity but otherwise input volume once again I want to stress all the way up okay um, so now if you still sound like shit there's one last very important thing to look at. Very, very important thing. Most people have a PC, so I'm going to do this for PC. If you have a Mac, I don't know why you're using Discord on Mac. It's horrible. I tried it before. Um, control panel. <clears throat> open up control panel. So you can search control panel down here and hit enter, uh, however you want to get to control panel. Once again, you can just type it in Windows and yeah. Um, if it's not already set to small volumes or small icons, set it right here to small icons. It might look like that. Okay. So... I'll go in there. Uh, you're going to go to sound. Okay. And then you're going to have this window pop up. This is going to look different for everybody. Okay. You're going to have different devices. I have different shit than you have. Um, but long story short, you're going to go to recording and you're going to find the one that you're using right now. The one that I have set in discord is this input two right here. You're going to make sure that this input two, when you double click on that and you go to levels that that shit is parked at a hundred. You want that at a hundred. So whatever your sound device is in control panel, 100, 100, 100, 100. Very commonly, it sets to something else. Um, you want it to be 100. Um, if it keeps changing itself, you could go to advanced and then uncheck where it says allow applications to take exclusive control. Uh, I haven't had that issue in a while with this device, so I leave mine checked just to give a little bit extra control across my devices. But otherwise, if you notice some random app and you don't know what the heck keeps changing it on you, keeps moving it, um, you could just check this if you want. Otherwise, mine hasn't been giving me an issue, so I'm going to leave it alone. So that's the other thing. Um, final, final thing that I almost forgot. We're going to go back to Discord now, okay? We're going to go back to Discord. And I'm going to recap when I'm done, too, because I know I'm kind of a little over the place. Um, a little, little bit stoned right now. Uh, we're going to go back to Discord. We're going to go to user settings again, okay? We're going to go back to voice and video, and this is the part I forgot. 
where it says input device and output device, set these manually. You want these to be set manually. Um, Discord is really bad with default. Um, if something gets switched up with Windows XYZ, I don't even know how to even word it. It's just not clean. Um, the the only and the surest best way in Discord to, to do it is to set your device. So um, here's another common issue. Um, sometimes people don't realize that like the sound of their mic is coming through like their webcam or some other stupid thing on their desk. Um, this could be why, because this shit just goes all over the place. No matter what your mic is normally set in Windows, that might not be the case here. Um, so just make sure that Discord is set to whatever you use, identify whatever that device is. Um, if you need, uh, if you're not sure what that device is, because you're not, you see all these different names. Like on mine, I have a couple of these Behringer ones. I got some special equipment. Um, I know that is input too, but like if I didn't, I could hit the select check button and I could speak and I could hear myself, and then I could hit the mic and like make sure, oh, okay, it's this one or whatever. Um, so that's about that. But anyways, I want to do a quick recap because I know that was all over. So if you want to recap, you can skip to this part of the video right here. Here is the recap. Uh, number one, you want to make crisp time. So crisp on, if you're in a voice chat, you have the three lines right here. If you click that, you want to make sure that's enabled. That's number one. Number two, user settings, that cogwheel at the bottom left, voice and video. You want to make sure that the input device is selected specifically to device. Do not use default. Default is bad. So find the device that you need. Um, number three, input volume all the way at 100. All the way at 100. All the way at 100. This part I explained earlier, I'm not going to recap this right now. You can go back in the video if you need to. That's not important at the moment. The last very important part, control panel um, on Windows. Open up control panel, change this to the small icons, go to sound. And once that opens, you're going to go to the uh, recording tab. Um, identify the device that's yours. You might have to talk and hit your mic a little bit. I know that mine is input too. I know you can see a couple going, but once again, uh, you go into there, uh, double click that. Make sure that that's at 100, 100, 100, 100. If it keeps changing you for some goofy reason, then you could this check allow applications, but that's only if it keeps changing any for some reason or if it wasn't already at 100. Otherwise, keep it at 100. Um, hopefully this helped you. If you have any questions, uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that funny shit, and I will answer and help you because helping people's fun and stuff. Have a good one.